one of the most recognizable villains in the history of cinema, a pop culture icon, Darth Vader, after over 10 years, is making his return to the big screen with Star Wars Rogue One. We all kind of knew this was going to happen for a while now in the Star Wars community, but now, recently, Entertainment Weekly had a whole article, a whole spread on Rogue One, and now it is confirmed 100% that Darth Vader will be returning for Rogue One, And the Star Wars community is lit. James Earl Jones, who voices Darth Vader, not only in the original trilogy and for a small shot in Revenge of the Sith, but also in the Star Wars Rogue One TV show, will be reprising his role as Darth Vader. Who else could it be? And we're all hyped. So on this video, we're going to talk about five things we want Vader to do in Rogue One. Absolutely. So today, we're going to be talking about those five things that we want to see from Darth Vader in Rogue One. And let's start off with number one on this list that we're going to be talking about, and that is some awesome James Earl Jones voice acting. As you just said before, he's going to be returning to voice him, and I can't wait to hear that awesome baritone voice, you know, that only James Earl Jones can pull off, and hear him deliver some awesome dialogue well so long as he doesn't scream no, no like he's on, done bro. in every other movie recently they ain't that stupid Well, otherwise, it's always great to hear this guy come back into the movies, and, you know, it's really nice to see that he's still coming back and voicing this character. I mean, you know, there might be some other people coming in as well in, you know, in this movie. For example, you know, we might see a cameo from Ewan McDermott, after all. They haven't announced that yet, but I would like to see that as well. Very possible. Just imagine, just like in Empire Strikes Back, well, at least the special editions, the two talking back and forth. The hologram? Yeah, I mean, that'd be so cool to see that happen now we know that vader is not the lead villain for the movie but his presence will be felt throughout but i would definitely limit his screen time i wouldn't have him be all over the place but i do want enough of him to where i leave the theater happy absolutely and one of the ways i feel like we could definitely leave the theater happy is to see him showing off some of those ruthless darth vader tactics such as killing some people with a lightsaber i mean after all darth vader is great when it comes to wielding that red lightsaber taking that red lightsaber out and just going to town on some people fighting some rebel scum and you know crushing their necks and cutting their heads off would be pretty cool to see well that's the thing is that i've noticed a trend in the old trilogy where Vader only uses his lightsaber to fight other Jedi, uh, you know, like Obi-Wan and and Luke. And he usually just chokes regular people because I guess it's just easier. But still, because this movie takes place during the height of the Empire, I would totally love to see Vader just one day just cut things up or maybe even have him get pissed off and destroy a room with his lightsaber kind of like his grandson Kylo Ren did in Force Awakens even though we've seen in the EU and the new canon that Vader can destroy a room just with his energy with the force because he seems to be you know the way it seems to work is the older you get the better you are with the force and thus you don't really need to use a lightsaber that much even though that was kind of retcon in episode 2 but (laughs) let's not talk about that right now Um, still Vader's you know anger why would he be angry well because the plans were were stolen that's why but other than that his anger being seen on the screen would be great well imagine having him versus donnie yen in a fight scene and donnie yen's getting the better of him without no him i don't want to see i don't want to see yeet man beat darth vader bro i'm sorry well then he whips out the lightsaber and then he beats him <laughs> i don't want to see that yeah but dude unless donnie yen's force sensitive vader could just pick his ass up and throw him across the fucking planet so <laughs> hey, you don't need the force when you can use that one inch punch i mean bruce lee let's see what he could do in the star wars universe but how's but- he gonna hit the one inch punch if he, if he can't even get close to him. <laughs> I don't know. He'll uh, he'll use the uh, instant transmission or something. Now, what I would like to see is somebody hop into a starship and shoot at Vader and then Vader just crushes that shit with the force, bro. That's what I want to see. Yeah, that would definitely be really cool. I mean, seeing Darth Vader destroying a starship with the force or even something as big as like an AT-AT or hell, even getting pissed off and just looking out a window and destroying a Star Destroyer just with his hand, you know, force crushing it. I mean, that kind of stuff would be so cool to see in a movie and just play up just how big of a threat Darth Vader is and as a result of that would also make Luke and the other
other characters who fought him in the original trilogy look that much better as a result because, you know, the feats in the original trilogy, I would have to say, aren't very high for the most part. Luke does some cool stuff, Darth Vader does some cool stuff, but we never really see the realization of what Darth Vader says, except for, you know, in some ambiguous terms of the Force being far greater than the ability to destroy a planet. So actually seeing him destroy some big stuff with the Force would be really awesome to, to actually behold. Yeah, I, that would be, I mean, we saw a lot of it in the EU, also in the new Vader comics, we see him take down an ATAT walker, just crushes it. We never got to see it in the old trilogy, probably because technologically it would be kind of hard to do. Not impossible, just kind of hard to do, plus they really didn't think about it. Plus, we never really saw Vader at the height of the Empire. We saw him at the beginning of the Empire, and at the end of the Empire. This movie, even though it's right before A New Hope, is still, the Empire was still totally fearless, but once the Rebels got those plans, they were like, shit, you know, but of course, you know, he, they had to do what they had to do, and that's when they go to episode four. Tarkin might be in this thing, too, you never know. Well, he is gonna be in it, because they said they're gonna take the actor and, and CGI some shit to make him look like he's alive again, which is kind of really creepy, but... What can you do? It's like uh, teenage Robert Downey Jr. in Civil War. I mean, they can just CGI anyone at this point. Nobody's really getting noticed. For I thought he just part. shaved. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but that leads into talking about the beginning of the Empire and the end of the Empire. I would like to see something following the foreshadowing the redemption of Darth Vader. So essentially, we all know that Star Wars Climax comes as a result of the redemption of Darth Vader, the killing of the Emperor, and everything that comes about as a result of that, so it would be nice to see a little bit of foreshadowing. Now, in the past, we have talked about the Darth Vader comic, which takes place after A New Hope, in which Darth Vader kind of finds out that Luke is his son, and essentially that the Emperor lied to him, so maybe if we could get a little bit more foreshadowing of that beforehand, building up to the eventual original trilogy, uh, to see, you know, maybe a little bit of glimpses underneath the mask in terms of, you know, that struggle that's going on within him, that would definitely be something for the character of Darth Vader I would absolutely want to see in this movie. Absolutely, and like I was mentioning earlier about the Darth Vader comics and the new canon, that's what we see. I mean, we see him do these things. There was a whole scene, which I'm not going to get into details about it, but there was a whole scene where Vader discovered who Luke Skywalker, like he figured out that the kid who blew up the Death Star was Luke Skywalker, which we did not see in any of the films, and they explained it really well, and there's a scene where he has like a flashback to the prequels and what was going on, and he like almost destroys a, a, a window in the Star Destroyer and he realized what was really going on that he was lied to by the Emperor I really liked that I thought that actually helped the prequels out these new comics coming out now have actually and I'm not saying the prequels are good movies because they're still not great movies but the comics have made the prequels make more sense and that scene right there I thought really really hit home yeah so seeing something like that on display in the movies in a more visual realization format would definitely be something I really love to see come to life and you know especially with that music by John Will Williams in the background. I mean, oof, I can already imagine the chills I'm going to get from watching that. But these have been the five things that we wanted to see Darth Vader do in the upcoming Star Wars Rogue One coming out this December. Let us know your own thoughts down below. Do you agree with us? Do you disagree? And what are your own five things you want to see from Darth Vader? And what are some other Star Wars topics you'd like to see us talk about in the future? Let us know down below. Don't forget to check out Geekdom's channel and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as I always say, stick around because there's a lot more to come in the future Luke now I could body slam the Death Star with my biceps and triceps now I'll break the Star Destroyer with my perks